What happens during a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse happens when the moon moves in front of the sun as seen from a location on Earth. During a solar eclipse, it gets dimmer and dimmer outside as more and more of the sun is covered by the moon. During a total eclipse, the entire sun is covered for a few minutes and it becomes very dark outside. The temperature outside also drops. What is a solar eclipse? Overview A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes in front of the sun, blocking it out partially or completely. The eclipse results in parts of the earth being covered in the shadow of the moon. Before we get into the details of a solar eclipse, it is worth noting that we are in the exact point in history that allows for solar eclipses happen. Millions of years ago, the moon was much closer to the earth and, therefore, appeared large in the sky. Since its formation, the moon has gradually been moving away from Earth. Eventually the moon will be much farther away from Earth and will appear smaller. For this brief time, the moon is just the right distance away so that it appears to be the same size as the sun. It's this phenomenon that provides us with the beauty of solar eclipses. How it works every year, between two and five solar eclipses occur. When the moon passes in front of the sun, the moon will block the sun's light toward Earth, causing the moon's shadow to fall onto Earth. In the direct shadow of the moon, the sky on Earth will darken in what is known as the umbra. Due to the rate of movement of the sun, the moon, and the Earth, the duration of a total solar eclipse never lasts more than 7 minutes and 31 seconds. It takes the moon about one month to orbit the Earth, but there is not an eclipse every month. This is because the orbital plane of the moon around the Earth is slightly different than the orbital plane of the Earth around the Sun. Therefore, a solar eclipse only occurs when the moon is in front of the Sun and the orbital planes intersect. Types of eclipses A total solar eclipse occurs when the Sun is obscured completely by the moon. For a total eclipse to occur, the Sun, the moon, and the Earth must line up in a straight line. The moon then blocks the sunlight hitting the Earth. This results in the moon's shadow falling on Earth. During a total solar eclipse, you would see the moon pass in front of the sun until it is completely blocked and then continue to pass. The sun, moon and Earth don't always line up perfectly. In these instances, a partial solar eclipse occurs. The image below shows how a partial solar eclipse appears. What causes lunar and solar eclipses? An eclipse happens when one astronomical body blocks light from or to another. In a lunar eclipse, the moon moves into the shadow of Earth cast by the sun. When the moon passes through the outer part of Earth's shadow, the penumbra, where the light of the sun is only partly extinguished, the moon dims only slightly in what is called a penumbral eclipse. When the moon passes through the central part of Earth's shadow, the umbra, where the direct light of the sun is totally blocked, the lunar eclipse is considered partial if the moon is partly within the umbra or total if the moon is completely within it. In a solar eclipse, the moon passes between Earth and the sun and stops some or all of the sun's light from reaching Earth. There are three kinds of solar eclipses. In a partial solar eclipse, the sun is partly covered when the moon passes in front of it, in a total solar eclipse, the moon completely covers the sun. In an annular solar eclipse, the moon does not completely cover the sun but leaves the edge of the sun showing. This last type of eclipse happens when the moon is farthest in its orbit from Earth and Earth is closest in its orbit to the sun, which makes the moon's disk too small to cover the sun's disk completely. What is solar eclipse and lunar eclipse? Lunar eclipse compared to solar eclipse at lunar eclipse and at solar eclipse refer to events involving three celestial bodies, the sun, solar, the moon, lunar, and the earth. A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth passes between the moon and the sun, and the earth's shadow obscures the moon or a portion of it. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun, blocking all or a portion of the sun. An eclipse can be total, partial, or annular. A total solar eclipse is when the moon blocks out the sun entirely, a partial eclipse is when it blocks out a portion of the sun, and an annular eclipse is when the moon is at its furthest point in orbit. It will not cover the sun completely that's when you can see a thin ring of light emerging from the outside rim of the moon. How are a lunar eclipse and solar eclipse different? A lunar eclipse occurs at night and a solar eclipse occurs during the day. There are only certain times when either of them can occur. A lunar eclipse can only occur when the moon is directly opposite the sun in the sky, a full moon. 
Even though there is a full moon each month, obviously a lunar eclipse does not occur on a monthly basis because the Sun isn't exactly in line with the Earth and the Moon. The Moon's orbit is actually tilted 5 degrees more than that of the Earth, otherwise, we would see a lunar eclipse each month. We can see lunar eclipses more readily than solar eclipses, and it has to do with proximity. The Moon is much closer to the Earth, well over 300 times closer than the Sun, so the Earth has a much greater chance of blocking sunlight to the Moon, compared to the Moon blocking light from the Sun. Also, a lunar eclipse can be seen from a greater portion of the Earth. Solar eclipses, on the other hand, are more rare and when they do happen can only be seen by a very narrow segment of people on Earth, for a short period of time. It is quite safe to watch a lunar eclipse with the naked eye, while watching a solar eclipse without eyewear protection can seriously damage your eyesight. You can use a telescope to get a clearer view of the moon during an eclipse and really see what is happening. A solar eclipse has always had a more profound effect on humans than a lunar eclipse. This is probably because of the importance of the sun to all life on Earth. In ancient China, a solar eclipse was thought to be the dragon coming to eat the sun. The effect that an eclipse has on all life on Earth is of particular interest to scientists. They eagerly await a solar eclipse because it helps them to gather more knowledge about the sun and its position with respect to Earth.